Hey, how's it going guys? We're back at my house. It's gonna be a short little video So I just want to show you with you guys some things that you should always do with your BMW every single time you guys drive it uh, To help increase the lifespan of your car the engine the transmission everything definitely want to take some of these into practice I've been doing it for a while now with all my BMWs that I've had definitely 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 worthwhile Especially with how these cooling systems are and everything These are some things you definitely want to do every single time you drive your car all right guys, so the first thing you always want to do is start up the car, let it warm up for like, do it for two to three minutes. So let's go ahead, turn on my car right now. And so pretty much the first startup of the day, you wanna let it sit for a little bit, run a little bit, let everything work. I'm not the only one saying this, a ton of BMW engineers have said this. People who have worked at BMW have told me this. Uh, this is definitely something you want to do with any BMW, like any BMW. Now the cooling systems on BMWs are known to be horrible, so it's good to just let everything warm up to be proper temperature. Before you start like driving it, driving it hard or doing anything, you definitely want to wait at least, like I said, two, three minutes to let it warm up. I do it every single time. I plan my days out, literally like I plan my day, like it's kind of annoying to have to do, but it's definitely, if you want to increase the lifespan of your engine, BMW, everything in general, definitely just like plan your day to where you sit in the car for two, three minutes, you know, get everything set up, start playing some music, chill in here for a little bit, let the car do its thing for a tiny bit, and then go ahead and start driving. It's definitely something that you'll get used to over time. I just make sure that my car can warm up properly. You definitely want to wait for at least two, three minutes. So yeah, that's the first thing that I always do with my BMW. Every single time I drive it, I let it warm up for a little bit uh, before I start driving. The next thing I do is before I push the car to any like high RPM or high speed, I always try to let the car get up to uh, engine temp, proper oil temperature, like for my car right over here. So 160, it's not even at 160 because it just started. Pretty much my normal temps are right below 250, so just right below 250. I do not push the car, I do not floor the car, I do not floor it, I do not push it at all. I don't put it in sport mode until it's reached that point at least once in the day. If, if I've already like turned on the car and got it to normal temps and then like I let it sit for a little bit and then I'll turn it back on, I'll let it get warm up a little bit for like a few tiny minutes and then I, I'll start pushing it because it's already hit that time in the day you just want to make sure your oil temps are at the right temperature uh, if you're gonna be pushing the car you know us BMW drivers over here we like to push our cars we like to have fun with them um, especially like 335s turbos V8s everything we like to have fun so you like to push your car but make sure you guys are pushing your car properly don't just turn on your car and then just like floor it right away that's not good that's not healthy for the car the oil doesn't have it's not warm enough to spread out properly and everything make sure the oil temps are at the proper temperature third thing that I always do when I drive my BMW every single time the last few minutes the last three two three minutes of driving I do not push the car that hard I let it cool back down a little bit because when you are pushing your car and like driving it hard or fast or whatever you just want to make sure it cools down properly so just drive normal speeds drive it slow for the like the last three minutes let it cool down naturally by itself instead of just turning it off and having it cool down it's gonna be harder for the car to cool down properly um, and when it's off so make sure the car is on and cooling off so whether that's sitting in the car for a few minutes after you've already arrived at your destination or the last few minutes of driving just let the car cool off naturally don't push it hard don't do anything crazy just drive it slow nice and slow and then when you get there uh, let it rest for a little bit while the car is on so that it can properly cool down and then another thing that I always do the fourth thing that I always do is I always turn off like my AC or my heater before I turn off the car so just go ahead turn that off I've had friends experience this where the AC compressor I think it's the AC compressor can go bad if you constantly turn off your car while the AC is on BMWs like this it's like an electrical problem especially on like e chassis so e90s um, those ones have the problem the most but it's good to do it for any BMW any BMW just go ahead turn off your AC before you uh, turn off the car and exit your car plus it helps uh, cool down the car too because it's not doing extra work the AC causes a lot of extra work on the engine and everything so definitely do that but yeah guys I thought I would just share this quick little video with you guys I haven't really been able to do anything with my car with like all the smoke wrapping wise so that's why you guys haven't seen any wrapping videos if you guys watch my other videos you will understand what I'm talking about but yeah it's been really smoky here in California and I just don't want to wrap my car and get like a ton of ash underneath it so I've been taking it easy with the wrapping but today looks a lot better so I might try to do something today but yeah guys anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little tips video to help increase the lifespan of your BMW so if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and smash the like button subscribe down below would really help me out guys and uh, without further ado I will catch you guys later remember stay safe stay happy and stay in that BMW see you guys later